Approximately 18,500 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with primary brain tumors each year. A little more than half of these people will have malignant tumors or gliomas, and whenever possible, surgery is considered the standard of care. A glioma is a type of primary central nervous system tumor that starts in certain cells called glial cells, which are formed mainly from astrocytes. The most common site for a glioma is the brain. Astrocytes, named for their star-like shape, form part of the supportive tissue in the brain and provide nutrients, support, and insulation for neurons. Astrocytes help form the blood-brain barrier. A high-grade glioma is malignant, life-threatening, invasive, and usually fast-growing. Whenever possible, surgery to remove the tumor is considered part of the standard of care treatment for high-grade malignant gliomas. The intent of the surgery is to remove as much of the tumor as technically possible and reduce the risk of neurological impairment. Since it is virtually impossible to remove all of the microscopic cells while operating in the brain, surgery alone may not be enough to remove every cancer cell. Because of the invasive nature of high-grade tumors, microscopic malignant cells may remain. Carmistine, also known as BCNU, is a form of chemotherapy that can be useful in treating brain tumors like glioblastoma multiforme, otherwise known as GBM. Use of gliadel wafer polyphoprosan 20 with carmistine implant can provide the benefits of locally delivered chemotherapy, which allows for up to 1,000 times higher concentration of chemotherapy compared to IV administration, while attempting to avoid the serious systemic side effects. Gliadel wafers are small, dime-sized, biodegradable polymer wafers that are designed to deliver BCNU or carmistine directly into the surgical cavity created when the tumor is resected. After a neurosurgeon operates to remove the high-grade malignant glioma, he or she implants up to eight gliadel wafers along the walls and floor of the cavity the tumor once occupied. Each wafer contains a precise amount of BCNU or carmistine. Gliadel wafer therapy is designed to deliver the anti-cancer agent directly to the tumor cavity. One goal of local therapy is to minimize the side effects of systemic BCNU. Carmistine treats the cancer at the cellular and genetic level. Carmistine is an anti-cancer agent that is broken down by the body. At the molecular level, the moisture between the cell membrane and gliadel wafers breaks down the polymer triggering a measured release of carmistine. Animal studies have shown that released carmistine attaches to both residual cancer and non-malignant cells because of the constant rate of breakdown of the polymer binding agent. The carmistine is released over a seven to 10 day period. Unable to replicate, the glial cells will eventually die. Gliadel wafer is the only product FDA approved to locally deliver chemotherapy immediately following surgical resection of a tumor and prior to radiotherapy. Gliadel wafer increased the six month survival rate to 56% for patients with recurrent GBM as compared to 36% for patients receiving placebo wafer at time of surgery. Survival was significantly prolonged in newly diagnosed patients with GBM who received gliadel wafer compared to those who received the placebo wafers. Median survival in these patients increased to 13.9 months from 11.6 months. Patients who received gliadel wafer had a benefit in time to decline in Komofsky performance status and 10 of 11 neuro performance measures when compared to patients receiving placebo wafers. Greater than 85% of patients who lived more than three years in the clinical trial had received gliadel wafer. Gliadel wafer is indicated in newly diagnosed high-grade malignant glioma patients as an adjunct to surgery and radiation. Gliadel wafer is indicated in recurrent glioblastoma multiforme patients as an adjunct to surgery. Gliadel wafer contains carmistine. Gliadel wafer should not be given to individuals who have demonstrated a previous hypersensitivity to carmistine or any of the components of gliadel wafer. 
Patients undergoing craniotomy for malignant glioma and implantation of gliadel wafer should be monitored closely for known complications of craniotomy, including seizures, intracranial infections, abnormal wound healing, and brain edema. Cases of intracerebral mass effect unresponsive to corticosteroids have been described in patients treated with gliadel wafer, including one case leading to brain herniation. There are no studies assessing the reproductive toxicity of gliadel wafer. Carmistine, the active component of gliadel wafer, can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Carmistine has been shown to be embryotoxic and teratogenic in rats at IP doses of 0 0.5, 1, 2, 4, or 8 milligrams per kilogram per day when given on gestation days of 6 through 15. Carmistine causes fetal malformations, anophthalmia, micronathia, omphalocele, at 1.0 milligram per kilogram per day, about one-sixth the recommended human dose, eight wafers of 7.7 .7 milligram carmistine wafer on a milligram per meter square basis. Carmistine was embryotoxic in rabbits at IV doses of four milligrams per kilogram per day, about 1.2 times the recommended human dose on a milligram per meter square basis. Embryotoxicity was characterized by increased embryo-fetal deaths, reduced numbers of litters, and reduced litter sizes. There are no studies of gliadel wafer in pregnant women. If gliadel wafer is used during pregnancy or if the patient becomes pregnant after gliadel wafer implantation, the patient must be warned of the potential hazard to the fetus.